came to see Mary. She was doing laundry, and then the angel just appeared, and she was really scared. So Gabriel was like, Mary, you're gonna have a look, a a I can't say it good. Mary, you're gonna have a baby. I, uh, you, you're gonna have a baby, and you'll call him Jesus. I'm only a teenager, and I'm not married. Then the angel Gabriel told Joseph that Mary is not lying. She, you, you are having a new baby. And so they met up. They went to Bethlehem, which was in Joseph's old town. They ride a donkey. <laughs> I, I don't know. A camel. Oh yeah. A camel, she said. This donkey's fast. They tried to go to a hotel and they asked the keeper um, for a place to stay. And the keeper said, we have no rooms. Literally, no rooms. So Mary and Joseph walked away sadly, but then he said the only place in, in, uh, in here in Bethlehem that you can stay, stay is a stable. And then he just pointed the way and they followed. When the shepherds were taking care of the sheep, then they saw the angels. The angel said, a new baby is, is getting, getting born. Who is the king of the Jews? And the angels were singing, And then the shepherd said, I think we should go and meet them. Second, I think, said, I agree with you. And the other said, Yeah, I agree with you. They had to walk through a bunch of grass and bushes, maybe have to camp out at night. And then the wise men heard about it. And then a star appeared. We should probably follow that star. It's pointing down to the barn, so maybe we should follow it. Maybe. So the wise men went to Jesus. They gave him gifts, a stuffed animal, like, like a hippo one that I have at home, uh, some diapers, some wipes, some milk, some shoes, some Jordans, uh, gold, Frankenstein, and myrrh. And I don't know how I would survive in that. Too stinky, too ground, or crowded. Ugh. Thank you for coming. He's adorable. He's gonna be our best friend. I love you, and you're the best baby I ever seen. There, I said it. The new baby is going to change the world. <laughs>